follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, just put in my name, Yaron, Y-A-R-O-N, Brook, B-R-O-O-K, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm there and, and lots more content. I also have a, a show here on The Blaze every Sunday uh, from 2 to 4 Eastern Time. I, I hope uh, you start listening there as well. Uh, hopefully you're intrigued. All right, we're talking about why the left is winning. And let me, let me clarify. It's not that I think the left is winning because they gain the most votes. So they, obviously they don't. They, they win the elections. Obviously they don't. It's because they dictate the terms of debate. They have moved the entire political spectrum to the left. Today's Republicans are Democrats of the past. There is no capitalist party in America today. Everything is to the left. Everything has shifted. And the only response Republicans have had recently to the left's agenda is to adopt their collectivism, to adopt their identity politics, and some have gone out to the fringe right and to and, and the alt-right and adopted the same kind of racist identity politics that the left, the radical, the, the, the fringe left has embraced, All right? So, no, everything we talk about today is on the left's terms. I mean, think about it for yourself. How many of you think that, that the financial crisis was caused by Wall Street? I mean, a majority, an overwhelming majority of Americans believe that. That is a leftist story. That is not reality right? how many of you we think in america today that race is really really important that racial characteristics are really really important to who you are that is a leftist idea and an alt-right idea but the alt-right and the alt-left not much difference there in 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 so many respects you know if we leave business alone they will you know, they will poison us and they will destroy us and we have to regulate drug companies. And now now we're getting more and more um, this idea we have to regulate the Internet and we have to we have to control uh, Google. And uh, those are all those are not ideas of a pro capitalist party. And yet they are prevalent. Everything, the whole political map has shifted to the left. There's no discussion of actually establishing freedom. Freedom in America. So why is it drifting leftwards constantly? And I would say it's because the left has had the ideological high ground. The left is intellectual. The left is philosophical. The left has ideas. The right does not. The right has nothing to counter the ideas of the left. And let's, let's talk a little bit about what some of those ideas are. Right? The idea of you know, fundamentally, you know, that much of the left, much of philosophy today, many of their philosophers out there, many of the teachers teaching your kids are teaching them that reality, reality is not real. There is no actual reality. It's you shape reality. It's, 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 it's your imagination. It's your emotions. It's, it's, there's no actual solid thing out there. Think about the consequences of that. How do we know what truth is? Well, the left tells us today, we're in a post-truth era. You, you can't even debate ideas with people like that. But what does the right offer in response to that, to this postmodern, uh, you know, uh, leftist ideas that are driving the social justice warriors and are driving so much of the Antifa, and, but so much of the university professors, so many of, of, of the classes that your kids um, uh, 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 taking in college, uh, advocating that reality doesn't really exist, it's not really real, that you're just making it up, that your reality is guided by your nature as a black person or a white person, and therefore if you're white, you should have immediate guilt because you've been oppressing black people. I mean, all this garbage that is a complete rejection a fact, a complete rejection of reality because they don't believe in facts and reality. The world is completely subjective. Reality is completely subjective. It's up to you. Now, what does the right respond to that? Does the right have a theory of explaining 
how to understand the world, where truth comes from, where knowledge comes from. No. Most people on the right do not. Most intellectuals on the right either default to religion as the source of knowledge, and by the way, religion will never beat out philosophy. It has no ground to stand on. It, it relies on revelation, and revelation are not facts of reality, are not proof of anything, because you can't share a revelation. You can't, you know, revelations are just because you said so. That's not facts. That's not argument. That's not logic. That's not reason. Or pragmatism. The right is very fond of pragmatism. We'll do whatever works. Whatever works. No principles, no ideas, and no actual argument about the nature of reality. In that sense, pragmatism is just like the left. The left will also do whatever works. So you basically have no argument for reality, no argument for reason, no argument for facts given by the right. And if you can't make that argument, too many people attempt it by this idea of, hey, we'll just, we'll just adopt, and, and you can see it on American campuses today, we'll just adopt this identity politics, we'll just adopt this idea that whatever happens in my head, whatever my emotions are, whatever my leader tells me, because I don't trust my emotions, that's what the truth is going to be. And what you get is mindless, brutish young people, which is what we're seeing we're seeing so much of on American universities today. Oh.